Cincinnati, Ohio is not exactly a place you'd expect to meet a medical miracle. But that's just what Lee Spivak is convinced he is. And I put my finger and I said, you need to get rid of that airplane. And that's when I cut my finger off. It just sliced it straight off? Took it off. We don't know where the piece went. Uh, we never did find it. How much of the finger? It took off probably about that much of the finger. The photos of his severed finger are pretty graphic. You can understand why doctors said he'd lost it for good. But it grew back with the help of a mystery powder. Nerves, tissue, blood vessels, skin, in just four weeks. Miracle man sprinkles miracle powder on his finger. They and, even and call it pixie dust. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, they call it pixie dust. They yeah. sprinkle and it grew back. Right. But, I mean, was it at all like that? That's exactly what I did. This is where the pixie dust comes from, though at the University of Pittsburgh, they call it extracellular matrix. They scrape the cells from pig's bladders, dry out the tissue, and form either sheets or powder. Normally, when we're wounded, we scar, but the scientists say putting the extracellular matrix on the wound stimulates the cells to regrow instead. They hope the technique might one day work on organs and possibly more. I think that within 10 years, I don't think that we'll be able to regrow a normal limb for you. I do think, though, that we will have strategies that will allow us to reconstruct the bones and to promote the growth of functional tissue around those bones, muscle tendon units. And, and that is a major step towards uh, the, the eventual doing the entire leg. That kind of talk has got the U.S. military interested. They're just about to start trials to regrow parts of the fingers of injured soldiers. They also hope that the Matrix might help veterans like Robert Henline regrow burnt skin. So anything that could be done in terms of regeneration would just be great, completely <laughs> yeah. life-changing. Yes, big life-changing. I mean, any of these surgeries, you just don't want to do another one. Uh, I think I'm more scared of hospitals than I am going back to Iraq again. <laughs> Like any developing technology, there are many unknowns. But here they believe that within the so-called pixie dust lies an amazing medical discovery. Matthew Price, BBC News, Pittsburgh.